Telecom PNG's main cable between the International Gateway and Ella Beach at Koki Indonesia's capital was set on fire, affecting more than 800 customers, including Bank of South Pacific, and New Guinea, and Ella Motors. Telecom PNG is treating this as a serious criminal matter and calling on people with information to report to police. Checks uh, revealed that um, it, it showed you know, uh, evidence of uh, sabotage rather than uh, a normal accident because this is usually a, a very quiet and, uh, and, and a safe area. Um, and there wasn't anything around that place that uh, indicated that it was an accidental thing. Matter now, we have reported it to police, but police can only be successful in, uh, in their work if the public cooperates in these uh, uh, cases. Uh, we have been working very closely with police in similar incidents in the past. Uh, but it still requires the commitment and, uh, and, uh, um, and support of the general public. 350 meters of copper cables and the same amount of fiber optic cables, including dedicated lines, got burnt. This disrupted voice, mobile, internet and data services in NCD since Thursday last week. However, Telecom is adamant all services will be restored by tomorrow. We've been working day and night on it. Um, the fiber services were restored at 5 a.m. on sat Saturday morning and some of the copper pairs uh, were restored at uh, 3 a.m. yesterday. So that's, how, that's, uh, that's the, the focus that we have on restoring services. Deliberate damage to telecommunications infrastructure is illegal under the NICTA Act of 2009 and Telecom says whoever has information leading to the successful arrest and prosecution of perpetrators will be rewarded. There are no immediate plans to avoid future damages like this, but the company is urging all to respect infrastructures that provide essential services for the development of the country's economy. Not only did the incident cost the company great loss, but affected the economy because of the companies who depend on telecom services. It's our strategic um, you know, cable that links up, um, you know, Elabitch Exchange, which connects to the you know, Sydney cable that comes in and the rest of the country. So in terms of uh, its impact on our business, it's a lot. But you look at the impact on the economy as well because businesses depend on uh, what we provide for their business. A similar attack on telecoms cables in Port Mosby happened a year ago in Waigani. Michelle Amba, National MTV News.